Namaste students. Let's look at another problem with regards to series parallel circuits. Problem 1.14. In the circuit shown in figure 1.23, determine the current supplied by the 100 voltage source and the voltage across the 6 ohm resistor. So it's a two-part problem. It was asked in the KUD paper of May 1990. Note down figure 1.23 and make sure you note down the points A, B, C, D, E properly because it will help you while solving for the equivalent resistance. There's a voltage source of 100 volts capacity. It has a 5 ohm resistance in series, then another 10 ohm in parallel, a 5 ohm in parallel with that, 10 ohm in parallel. Note down them properly so that with the points, with the help of the points A, B, C, D, E, you can calculate. So you have another 5 ohm, another 3 ohm in series with that. Again, it branches out into two as 6 ohm and 3 ohm. And we can split that current as I1 and I2. I hope you've noted down the figure. Keep checking the figure throughout the problem. As 6 ohm and 3 ohm are in parallel, their equivalent resistance is, you know that it's R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And that is equal to 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3, which gives you 2 ohms. This is in series with the 3 ohm and 5 ohm resistors. So the total resistance, you know for series, you add them up. So you can take that as RT is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5, which is 10 ohms. Now RT comes in parallel with the 10 ohm resistor between B and C. Look at points B and C. Their equivalent resistance, you can take it as RE, is equal to 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10, which gives you 5 ohms. Now, RE comes in series with the 5 ohm resistor between points A and B. Hence, combined resistance RC is equal to 5 plus 5 and that is 10 ohms. You know that you add resistances in series. Now, RC comes in parallel with the 10 ohm resistor between A and D. Keep looking at the figure. When RC comes in parallel, how do you solve for equivalent resistance? You can take it as REQ. That is 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10, which gives you 5 ohms. Now, we're finally coming to the entire total equivalent resistance. So REQ comes in series with the other 5 ohm resistor, the one you saw at the very beginning. Hence, Total resistance, you can take it as RTCR, is equal to 5 plus 5 and that gives you 10 ohm. This is the total resistance of the entire circuit. Therefore, current supplied by the battery, you take it as V by R by Ohm's law. So it is 100 divided by RTCR. That gives you 100 by 10 and that is 10 amperes. You have solved the first portion of the problem that is the current supplied. At A, the current divides equally between AB and AD. It splits. Therefore, the current in AB is equal to 5 amperes. Again, at B, the current is equally divided. Therefore, the current in BE, the portion BE is equal to 5 divided by 2, which gives you 2.5 amperes. Current again divides at E. The current of 2.5 amperes divides in the ratio 3 is to 6 or 1 is to 2. Why is it like that? Because there are 6 ohm and 3 ohm as the branch resistors. Current in the 6 ohm resistor is equal to 2.5 into 1 divided by 3, which gives you 2.5 by 3 amperes. And hence the voltage drop across the 6 ohm resistor is 2.5 divided by 3 into 6. That is the current into the resistance value, which gives you 5 volts. This is the second portion of the problem where you had to calculate the voltage drop across the 6 ohm resistor. Keep solving more similar types of problems. In the next sessions to come, we will learn more and more concepts and see how they are related to the circuits you have learned till now and you'll learn some more new circuits as well. Make sure to revise all the concepts and formulas you have learned till now because you will always need them whenever you solve any type of problem. So you'll need to know series formula, the parallel formula and different special types of series and parallel circuits, special types of branches circuits you had for two series or two parallel or three in parallel. You can apply those later in your life as well.